So for today, we're going to be looking at the Crimson Plum sets for the Hunters of Gaizano. This is the Crucible variant. So we're going to be looking at all of the pieces that we got from that set and then making individual pieces from those uh, or individual sets from those pieces. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Remember, I've already done the review video and the shader video. They're both right here. You guys can check them out. So but yeah, like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge part of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help. But other than that, let's get into it so to start off we're going to be using the helmet and this one we're going to be using the base look of stompies for the arms lux sleeves for the chest piece sublime vest and then for the cloak diamond born cloak for the shadering dreaming spectrum just because uh the sublime vest takes off colors which is really annoying so i just ended up going for dreaming spectrum because a it is my favorite shader and b i just think it looks good so yeah this is the set that i made i really like the set very much a like like a not a like a runner like i don't know like someone who who uh, a messenger there we go like it gives me very much a big messenger vibe just because uh everything looks so sleek and even armored up as well so i really like this set would i use it in my stompy set probably i probably would just go in and try to tweak the shader a little bit more just because as much as i love dreaming spectrum it doesn't really go well with the stompy space look because the stompy if you guys don't know the white on the calves actually don't change color so yeah i would go back in there and just see if i could find a good shader that goes with white but also doesn't have a really terrible off color for the chest piece so and not only that the helmet has like a red glow on the visor which is really annoying so i would just go back and just switch the shaders around here and there but let me know what you guys think about this set as for the next set, we're going to be utilizing the chest piece and the arms. So this one's pretty funny because it's very heavy on the right side. You guys all know what I'm talking about in a bit, but for the helmet, we're going to be using the knucklehead radar with the nine day slash nights ornament. This is one of my favorite ornaments for knucklehead radar. It's just amazing. It And to be before someone tells me it's the only ornament, it actually has two ornaments. One of them uh, is just unobtainable now uh, for the boots, virulent strides, and then for the cloak, hardened basilisk cloak. So funnily enough, uh, we're using the Seraphim Cloak or Ser yeah, the Seraphim Cloak shader because it's the closest shader I can get that goes well with that vice color. Um, and the reason it's so heavy on the right side, if you guys haven't noticed, is the fact that the virulent strides and the arms only have armor on one side. The left side is completely armorless. So that is why I say the one side is way heavier than the other, because again, one side literally has armor and the other one does not, which is kind of funny in my opinion to be fair um all, you really don't need this type of thing or you don't need one that only has armor on the left side so you can equal out even though that would be cool uh you could just use something that looks asymmetrical and it's just gonna look as good so me personally i would probably just switch out the boots for something that's just asymmetrical and that would be better because the vice color honestly the whole reason seraphim cloak is being used is because of that vice color if not i would switch this co this color for something that goes really well with the nine day slash nights glow because i think that would be would have been way better but yeah i definitely think the males look a little bit better for this just because the arms are a little bit more bulky which means it doesn't look weird with the boots but yeah i definitely would just switch the shader because as much as i like the fact that the green goes well with the vice i just don't really think i give a shit so i would probably just switch out the shader that goes well with the glow like i said as for the next piece we're going to be using the boost with the mechanaris trick sleeves for the helmet refugee mask with the renegade hood is such a good combo and then for the chest piece intrepid discovery vest so this one is probably my favorite honestly just because of how clean it looks iron bone is what we're using i crutch on this shader way too much because it's such a good shader when it comes to like cloth but yeah i definitely think this is the best one just because i definitely feel the messenger vibes a little bit more heavy for this one just because you have the messenger bag on the hip um everything seems so clean and like thin like it just looks so good that i honestly think this is the best one and i just actually i don't even know the last one but i would say this is the best one so far like there's just so many good things about it if i were to switch one thing out is i would probably if you really didn't want a cloak or a sp more specifically the scarf and the hood then you can switch it out for um some cloaks that are just on the head and then switch the helmet for something that turns off a glow and then you'll just have the helmet so you could do that if you wanted i just think the cloak looks a little bit better because uh who wants to get rain in their head which is like where my head goes 
And then last but not least, we're going to be using this set, which is utilizing the Lucky Pants with the Deep Pockets ornament and the cloak. So this one's pretty cool because obviously I'm going for a cowboy look. For the chest piece, Parade Vest is such a good combo to use with the Lucky Pants. The TM Earp Custom Grips also is a good combo. And then the Masquerade Cal for this one, just because I think it looks a little bit better. Um, honestly, if you really wanted to, you could just switch out the cloak for the cowboy cloak specifically so you can get that hat and then switch out the masqueraders cow for something else if you wanted to. I like it just because it gives off that cowboy vibe. Not so much like, oh, like one to one to cowboy, but more so like like a space cowboy type of thing, which is why I went with this. So for the shadering precursor of X Chrome for pretty much everything but the cloak because the cloak unfortunately takes white and i didn't want white for this so i ended up going for abyssinian gold which just turns it black so i actually really like this set a lot like it's really really cool lucky pants has a lot of specifically the deep pockets ornament has a lot of sets that i've made this one i want to say is one of my favorites but i would have to go back to to see all of the sets that i made for that which actually let's just do that right now so here are my lucky pants sets so i think this one i made when i first when we first got the fortunate beast ornament uh another one so this is the base look of it wow that's an old one um yeah this one looks pretty cool gift of the nine we're using which is pretty interesting um uh, not the biggest fan of this one the only reason i'm using the illicit invader for this one is because the red on the vanguard dare grips um I remember this one. This one was uh, when Machine Machine Skir or Skirmisher the second time it came out because it's the second time I actually bought. Oh, did I? Yeah, I think I did do that. Um, this one doesn't look bad. It's obviously going for a mechanized cowboy look. Um, this is the good one. This is the good one, dude. Yeah, it's, it just looks amazing. Legitimately, like really, really cool. This one was the. Um, it was supposed to be the uh, Cade variant that i made which i still think looks really cool this is the best one i legitimately think this is the best one i mean to be fair like this one's really good but like this hits all the marks for me you have the cool hat you have the thunderhead mask which i think looks really cool with this whole set and then the starfarer's vest with the vanguard grips i think this looks amazing so yeah overall some really cool sets again remind let, let me know if you guys would like to see this because i do have a lot of sets the only ones i don't have is like capri sting stink uh trident vice which i that's wrong i do have a trident vice look uh ophidia space and then radiant dance machines these are the only exotics that i have not oh goodness invest that's a lie i've done a lot of goods invest sets but these are the only sets that i'm like i have not made e e any sets for them or it, they were so long ago that i don't have them available so yeah, i have a bunch of these so if you guys want to see like oh would you can you show us all the ones that you made for for example the star eater scales and i can just go through all of them we'll probably just do it like this so that way i don't have to do anything too crazy editing wise because honestly that would be the reason why i don't make these videos because the editing would take way too long so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later